Hi, I'm Gary Wyron. We're here at Trump International to do a special project, which is to analyze the golf swings of some baseball ambassadors with Mizuno, and then to give you tips on how those golf swings could be helped or how the golf swings that you watch could help you. Chicago powerhouse Carlos Quinton can hit a baseball a country mile. Let's take a look at his golf swing to see whether or not it's home run worthy. Here's Carlos in slow motion. He has a good hip turn through there, good strong hip turn, but you notice how his arms go away from him in the follow through. That's separating his left arm too far from his body so that he's kind of pushing the ball out there and his right knee does not come over and hit the left knee. Even after a good start in the turn of the hips, it didn't finish. Carlos Quinton has a nice shoulder turn going back away from the ball. It's something that you could look at and learn from. And that is this. When you turn away from the ball, try to turn your back to the target. So many people simply take their arms back, their shoulders never turn. Instead of looking over the shoulder at the ball where you're incorporating the big muscles, they simply are using the small muscles with arms and hands only. So that's the good part. But Carlos, let me give you a tip. When you're coming down and through the ball, there's a little bit extra just pushing with the right so your arms separate from your body. It'd be better if you could keep your left arm on your chest at the beginning as you're coming through because it helps you to kick the club over. When your arm separates like this, you can't get as much speed. So a way you can do it is simply take your good Mizuno head mitt right here, put it under your arm like this, and practice some swings where you finish with your hands just at shoulder height. Now my club is kicking over because my arm's not going away from me. If you do this, then you're just holding on and the ball doesn't have the same kind of speed. You're probably blocking it out to the right. So there is a nice drill for any of you to learn to be able to get a little more club head speed and also that part about turning your back to the ball.